Hey gang, I wanted to share with you an update for the Kingsong 16X the production schedule and the test schedule. This note is from uh, Jason over at eWheels. If you are already pre-ordered, you've seen this note, perhaps. If not, it should be in your inbox. Um, if you are not, um, why, that's why I'm sharing it, right? Uh, production is scheduled to complete uh, at the end of this month for the wheels shipment, and that'll take four weeks on the boat, so you should be seeing them in August, I would guess. Uh, the demo wheel is supposed to land next week, and from there it should be sent over to New York uh, City, and then I think on to Dauphin, Florida, possibly over to Chooch, Colorado, and with a little bit of luck, uh, to me in Austin uh, around the weekend of the 4th of July for testing. Um, I'll let you read the details on this with a pause. Uh, I thought I'd also show you some of the production photos that have been circulating. Um, it's a good looking wheel, I think, in general. Kind of pleased with it. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to say uh, the Nikola is out and getting some pretty good reviews if you guys are flip flopping back and forth between that. Um, I'm still leaning towards this one over the Nikola. Even though it's gotten great reviews, the Nikola that is, uh, one of the things that I worry about is that trolley handle. And one of the things I spotted from the forums is that the trolley handle does not lock. And as a result, in an accident, it can flip up, and uh, at least one person is reporting it being bent and having to buy a new one for $89. So there's that to consider. Another thing to consider is the sides of the Nikola are about 100 bucks, probably 170 by the time you get them retail uh, because of markups and what have you. Um, I'm also going to say some of the initial reports are um, uncomfortable riding for some of the riders because of the width of the Nikola, especially when you add pads to it, uh, which some people seem to need to do. So um, there's also um, comments about it creaking, I guess, uh, from the sides flexing a little bit. These are minor things. It's still, I'm sure, a very spectacular wheel, but I just thought I'd uh, throw out the information that we do have about it as you start to, to think about your purchase here. Um, you can see the 16X is a little narrower and has padding already for, for your legs. All right, happy riding, guys.